In lesson four, we built this app ideas manager widget in here, which fetches our app ideas from Swift data from our main app, displays them and shows the user whether they are favorite or not. Now in this lesson, we will build an app intent so the user can, uh, yeah, so this widget is interactive so they can tap on an app idea and toggle whether it is a favorite or not. So we will not care about the timeline provider. I can um, yeah, collapse that same for the timeline entry and the widget we don't care about any of that what we care about is our widget view and then let's also create a brand new file in our widget so i will say new file make this a swift file and i will call this toggle favorite intent and make sure it's part of the widget extension we don't need it in the main app right now all right so in here we can import app intents and we can and perhaps also import Swift data. And now we can create our struct toggle favorite intent, which conforms to the app intent protocol. For that, we will need a title and we will need a description. And then we will also need to implement the perform function. And just so Xcode doesn't complain, we will return dot result an empty result in here. And then we can write our logic in there. So for the title of the intent, we will say toggle favorite. For a description, we will say toggles whether an app idea is favorited. We want to pass an app idea into our toggle favorite intent. So we will add an add parameter property wrapper here with a title of app idea. And this will be our app idea of type app idea so a bunch of app ideas in here but this actually does not really work because we can't use the app idea struct in here now luckily we made the name of our app idea which is a string we made that unique so we can instead say app idea name app idea name and make that a string and with that setup it now compiles and we don't need to do any additional setup for our Swift data model class. If you're interested in conforming or being able to use your own custom types with app intents, make sure to leave a comment below the video so I can yeah, teach you about that in a future lesson as well. But for today, we will take the simple approach of just passing the name of the app idea so then we can fetch it from Swift data ourselves and update it uh, with that approach. So speaking of Swift data, we will once again need our model container so we can go into our timeline provider and copy both the model container, the fetch descriptor and all of this stuff in here. So we can uh, put all of that in the perform function. We don't need to return an empty array. We need to return an empty result in here. All right, so this fetch in here is async. So we will say try await the result of this for the predicate, we will have to change that up. So we will say we only want the idea which has the exact name as the one that we are interested in, which was the parameter that got passed into this app intent. All right, so then we will have an optional array in here and then we can return uh, or we don't actually need to return anything in here. So now we can say if let idea equals the result of our fetch request dot first and then in here we can say let is favorite equals idea dot is favorite. And then we can say idea dot is favorite equals is favorite inverted basically. So we will say if it is currently favorite, we will want to make it non-favorite. If it is currently not favorite, we want to make it a favorite app idea. And then we can just return out of the app intent in the end. So this is all that we do. We create our model container we create our fetch descriptor, which fetches the exact app idea that we're looking for based on the parameter that we got passed. We fetch that app idea. We make sure we actually fetched it. And then we toggle it the is favorite flag. Now, right now we are not able to actually pass any parameter into this toggle favorite intent. So we will crea create our own uh, initializer just like that. And Xcode actually auto created it for us. If we create our own initializer, we need to also create an empty initializer where we can say app idea name 
here's an empty app ID and let me move that to a different place in the struct just so it's a bit uh, yeah, easier to see. So let's move it in here. And now we should be able to use this toggle favorite intent in our widgets. All right, so just recapping, both of these rows here are just an H tag with an image, a spacer and a text element. But we want to actually turn that into a button. So let's wrap that in a button with an intent and the intent is our toggle favorite intent passing in the name of the app idea. So I will say app idea dot name in here. Let's have a look at that in our simulator and see how it looks and behaves right now. So we now automatically got the button styling for interactive widgets and now we can tap on Vision Pro AR Explorer and you will see the list refreshes and the favorite flag is toggled. And the same works for the workout tracker. Now, if we tap this a few times, the list might, uh, yeah, shuffle around just like that. And that's because we didn't specify a sort order in our fetch descriptor when we're creating the timeline. So you can add a sort order yourself. That would be a nice homework for you. Look at my MVVM video, look at my other Swift data videos. And I'm interested to see if you can figure out how to sort these app ideas in your widget using your um, predicate. So that's it for this course. That's everything that I had planned. We are up to five lessons now. If there's anything else that you would want me to explore in this free course, make sure to write a comment down below. And if you enjoyed it, I would appreciate a like and a nice comment uh, saying what you enjoyed about this course. Do you want to actually track your app ideas? Check out LaunchBuddy with the link in the pinned comment and video description. It's completely free to get started and make sure you actually work on your app ideas.